What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Tech Job Tina, signing in for another episode. Today's episode, we're going to get out here and see who is hiring. This is a who's hiring episode. Uh, if you paid attention to one of the previous episodes I did, I was doing the who's hiring live and I was doing them every other Sunday. I decided to try something different and now I'm going to move to just giving you a who's hiring every Sunday. I'm just going to drop another episode of 10 companies that are hiring for tech sales roles. Now, why tech sales? For those of you that are new to my channel, I work in tech sales. I understand tech sales. I, I broke into the industry last year and I have a pretty good idea of what tech recruiters and hiring managers are looking for in an SDR BDR. I know a lot of people that watch my channel are trying to also get into tech sales. So for that reason, we're going to focus on entry level remote tech sales roles that pay pretty decently or at least within the acceptable averages, right? So I got 10 jobs for you guys. We are going to dig in. But before we do, I said that I would uh, give a shout out for the people that, you know, left comments or questions on the last Who's Hiring video. So let's dig into that. So last week's Who's Hiring Live, I got a question on my comments. And that question came from Nelly Nug. Shout out to Nelly. I appreciate you watching. The question was, do you offer mentorship or guidance? And that's a great question. I actually get asked this a lot. And I have to be honest with you. I don't know if I'm qualified to be anybody's mentor, but I definitely do offer guidance and I do it free of charge, man. You just, I get a lot of people asking me questions and I don't mind helping. If you have a question, you need some guidance, you need some advice, reach out to me. There's a reason why I put my email address in my YouTube header. It's because I want to try to help as many people as I can. I do what I can on this channel. This channel gives me a way to unofficially mentor people and to guide people in, in any direction they're trying to go and give you the advice that I wish I'd had before I broke it into tech sales. But like I said, if you have any questions, always, always feel free. Put your comments down below. I think I do a fairly decent job of answering any questions that I get on my comments. And if you want to have a conversation, maybe offline, let's start with an email and go from there. Thank you for your question, Nelly. Let's get into today's episode. Who is hiring? Let's go. Job number one is with a startup called Sezzle. Buy now, pay later, situation, right? We got a lot of those out there, right? I think we're going to get a lot of more. As we see the economy do what it's doing, you're going to see a lot more of these buy now, pay later companies start to emerge. I'm already seeing it, of course, in retail. I'm also seeing it like in other places, of course, like uh, in on the renter's market, like this prop tech out there that does this exact same thing. So we're going to start to see a lot more of these companies kind of sprout up out of nowhere as the economy uh, takes the turn that it is taking, right? So let's dig into it. So Sezzle is looking for an, an SDR. Uh, says here, this is Wellfound's estimate. So that tells me that Cezzo didn't probably actually release what they were paying for this particular role. So let's just stick to the norms or the averages that I'm constantly telling you guys. Your average SDR is going to make a $45,000 to $55,000 base with an OTE average anywhere between $65,000 and $80,000. That's what I have seen on average. Sometimes it could be a little bit less. Sometimes it could be a little bit more but those are the averages. So well found, they put an estimate out there for what they think this uh, position is going to pay. And they gave an estimate of 55 to 70, which falls in line with what I was saying. All right. So let's uh, scroll down here. And like I said, these are going to be fully remote roles. Now, one thing I like about when you go on well found, a Y Combinator does this too. It'll tell you like, some people uh, like who works at the company it will give you like the name of the CEO or founder. And it'll usually put like a LinkedIn like link on there. Y Combinator definitely does this here on Wellfound. You got your hiring contact right here. It's this guy called uh, named Charlie or whatnot. You could easily find him on socials, find him on LinkedIn and reach out. But uh, this is all standard stuff as far as what you will do in this role. It says qualify inbound leads to develop relationships, generate outbound sales conversations through cold calls and email campaigns, coordinate product demonstrations between several account executives or sales directors and prospective merchants, track communication and engagement via Salesforce and Sales Loft, and close sales and assist merchants with onboarding. 
All right. Now that one is actually an add-on. This is the one thing about startups. You can wear a lot of hats, right? This close sales and assist merchants with onboarding. It's kind of weird because in the previous bullet point, it said you would be coordinating product demonstrations between sales account executives and prospective merchants. That's what SDRs do. They set up meetings for the account executive to close, right? But his last bullet point said close sales and assist merchants with onboarding. Closed sales, that's an AE function. Onboarding is a customer success function. So either that was a mistake or they actually may be an opportunity for you to wear multiple hats. Maybe you'll be doing a little bit of closing, maybe a small percentage. Maybe they don't have a lot of account executives, right? Maybe it's a hybrid type of role where you're a little bit of everything, right? I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It could be interesting if you can handle it, right? So here's their wish list items. What we look for is a wish list. Don't you know? let it deter, deter you from applying for a role. But it says bachelor's degree and one year of sales experience. I talk about this a lot. If you're someone that doesn't have the sales experience, Glen Coco is a way for you to get some cold calling experience that you can speak to in an interview. It is easy to sign up. I'm not going to go into the big spiel because I've talked about it enough. You guys can go find my older videos on Glen Coco and see what it's all about. But that is a way for you to navigate that question when it comes about sales experience. I don't care if you hopped on there and did two weeks of cold calling. You got some experience, right? So look into that. Uh, let's see here what else we got. Preferred knowledge and skills, experience with Salesforce is a plus, cold calling and high volume email experience, growth minded and looking to turn challenges into opportunities, fun and collaborative and enjoy working with a team, people person who derives energy from meeting with others, passionate about helping others, attention to detail and adept at managing time. All right. And then they have the about you. Right. This is what they feel like. If you're this type of person, you're a good fit for this role. This says you have relentless high standards. You're not bound by convention. You need action. You earn trust. You have a backbone. You uh, disagree, then commit. You deliver results. Right. So let's get into these perks and benefits. It says they have a generous paid time off, sick time, volunteer hours, competitive salary, um, all the medical, dental and visions. Uh, they got discounted lifetime gym membership for those gym rats out there. 401k with a match. Uh, let's see here. And the opportunity to join Minneapolis's fastest growing startup, they said. Uh, okay, so here's the compensation. It looks like the base pay is forty to 45000 And um, they did not say what the OTE was. They gave you the base pay. I guess they're thinking it's uncapped commission, so you can whatever the rest, right? So that does fall in line with whatever the average base pay is, okay? So this link, I'll make sure that I put it in the description and the comments. So uh, definitely scoop up this link, go apply for this job, all right? So let's move on to job number two. And with job number two is this uh, company called Sky Genie. They're looking for an SDR uh well found estimate on the pay is 60 to 95 so that tells me that then you know if the estimate is correct we have a pretty great ote being at that 95 number that's actually above average which is awesome um and once again this is another startup they only got 11 to 50 people so you would definitely be getting in at the ground floor with this company right here it says they're a silicon valley startup delivering explainable ai power insights to fast growing b2b SaaS, and cybersecurity companies all right so let's see here it says as a sky genie sales development representative you would be an important member of a sales team and have a tremendous opportunity to further your personal growth you will research and prospect a list of targeted accounts, cold call executives, and decision makers at target companies and generate leads for our sales pipeline. So let's see here. All positions are 100% remote and therefore open to candidates in all geographic locations. I'm looking at the responsibilities. This is all standard stuff for an SDR right here. Qualifications and skills. This is the wish list. Okay. They're saying degree in management, marketing, information systems, business analytics, or related fields, deep interest in demand generation, sales development as a career option, work experience as an SCR or similar outbound sales role that involves prospecting for a minimum of 12 months, basic knowledge of messaging 
positioning and modern demand generation approaches, intellectual curiosity with a willingness to dig into and explore data, flexibility to work in the time zones of our prospects. They have prospects in the U.S. and in Europe, strong verbal and written English communication skills. So I will drop this link for you guys uh, if you're interested in that. I see they have the collaboration hours on here, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time as well. So be prepared. They are open for Eastern time zones, but be prepared. that They may be on a Pacific time schedule, right? All right. So job number three is a company called uh, Digio. It says the industry leading marketing efficiency platform for direct to consumer e-commerce. So if you got some e-commerce experience, some marketing experience. If you got those in your background, it's probably be right up your alley. If not, and you're still interested in it, go for it. Uh, let's see here. So it says 70K to 100K on the uh, salary is what is posted here. And this is for an onboarding manager, which is basically a customer success function. Um, onboarding, you're the person that's actually, as soon as that customer purchases that product, we have to onboard them onto that, whatever that software is, right? So you're working with the customer to get them up and running on the software. That's what onboarding is all about, right? So it says right here, Digio is seeking a talented and motivated onboarding manager to join our team. As an onboarding manager, you will play a crucial role in ensuring our clients have a smooth and successful start with our platform. You will be responsible for guiding new customers through the onboarding process, helping them understand and utilize our products and ensuring their satisfaction and success. Let's see here. Key responsibilities, client onboarding, product knowledge, relationship building, communication, problem solving, success measurement, documentation. And here's the wish list or qualifications, bachelor's degree in related field, or equivalent work experience of at least two to three years. So they say, hey, you can have a degree, and if you, but if you don't have a degree, then we want two to three years experience. Wish list item, right? But something to consider, right? It says proven experience in client onboarding, customer success, or account management role, preferably in a SaaS company working with e-commerce brands, strong understanding of digital marketing, email marketing, lead generation, or related fields in e-commerce specifically, exceptional communication and interpersonal skills, problem solving and critical thinking abilities, highly organized, detail oriented and capable of managing multiple client onboarding projects simultaneously. A genuine passion for helping clients succeed and achieve their goals, experience with platforms such as HubSpot, Asana, Slack, etc. I will drop that link for you guys. Uh, let's see here. Looking at the time, their collaboration hours, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Eastern time. They're open for all of the time zones. All right, so let's keep it moving to the next one. We're hopping over to LinkedIn right now. Item number four is this company called Storable. They're looking for an SDR. It looks like they uh, sell something related to RVs and campgrounds, right? So um, this is maybe some type of prop tech when I think about RVs and campgrounds as far as like, you know, maybe uh, rental spaces or something like that when I look at Storable. So let's see what we got. All right. So it says here, the SDR plays a critical role in supporting the sales team at New Book, Storable's newest acquisition by conducting business development activities. This is the primary focus of this role is to generate a qualified leads, engage prospects, and facilitate the sales process through cold calling, lead qualification, appointment setting, and market mapping. The SDR will contribute to the overall sales pipeline and drive revenue growth for the organization. Uh, what you will do, this is all the standard stuff that SDRs do right here. Nothing out of the ordinary right here. What you will need, I see soft skills in here, excellent communication, strong and personal skills, resilience, uh, proactive, self-motivated, results-oriented mindset, self-motivated, strong problem-solving, critical thinking abilities, attention to detail and strong organization skills, basic knowledge of sales techniques and understanding of the sales cycle, Ability to adapt quickly in a fast-paced, evolving sales environment. So when they're telling you, they're telling you, hey, this is what we need. So when they basically tell you what they need, you want to make sure when you go to that interview, you want to give them what they're asking for. All these things they listed, you want to make sure that you're able to uh, 
present yourself in a way that shows them that you are all of these things they said they needed at their company, right? So definitely when you see these job descriptions, study them because they're telling you what they want. So you just, just give them what they want. Figure out a nice way to, to present what they want when you're in that interview, right? Let's see, measures of success, quantity and quality of leads generated for the sales team, number of qualified appointments scheduled and attended by the sales team, conversion rates from leads to opportunities or closed deals, accurate and timely reporting of activity data in Salesforce, contribution to the overall sales pipeline and revenue growth, positive feedback from the sales team regarding the quality and alignment of leads generated, continuous personal and professional development in sales and product knowledge. Let's see here. And here's the pay right here. Uh, the position, uh, see, 65 to 85 Total on target earnings up to 20K and variable commissions. Let's see here, position range. So it looks like their base pay is going to be, be between 45,000 and 60,000. And maybe that depends on experience where you fall on that base pay. And then if you add another 20,000 to whatever that base pay is, that's going to be your OTE. So depending on how it's negotiated, you could have an OTE of anywhere between 65 to 85, which is definitely falling within that average number when you talk about OTEs. And then right here, um, you have to be in an, you have to be stationed in one of these states in order to qualify for this job. They got a lot of states on here, so most of you are, are probably gonna be good to go. All right, so I'm just kind of scrolling through here. I see this is facility management software. Looking at their benefits. Let's see here. Uh, 401k match after 60 days, 100 vested after one year. Let's see here. Instant access and flexible vacation. Uh, see here, company anniversaries, birthdays, weddings, adding children to a family, first time home buyers, and more are celebrated. Let's see here. They got some self care, some mental health perks in here. I see. Uh, they have uh, pet bereavement and paternity leave if you got pets caregiver leave, a monthly home data stipend that's added directly to your paycheck to help you cover the cost of your home internet, uh, plus a home office sign-on bonus of 250 bucks. They got fertility care in here. Uh, let's see here, a bunch of mental, uh, mental wellness uh, resources in here, financial experts. They got a long list of stuff. The direct student loan payment program. It says Storable has partnered with Fidelity to make a contribution directly to your loan servicer. Some qualifications and eligibility rules apply. Okay, that little perk help you pay them student loans down. All right, very cool. So that was uh, job number four. I will drop that link in the description in the comments so that you guys can get after it. Let's go over to job number five. Number five is a company called Striker. They're looking for an SDR. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a person we can reach out and touch, this Mike guy right here. And about the job, let's see here. It says, we're excited to be named one of the world's best workplaces by Fortune Magazine. We're proud to offer you 12 paid holidays annually. And it says, for an overview of our benefits and time off, please follow the link so you can go there to see all the benefits. Uh, it says, we, who we want. They want hardworking winners, confident, competitive, and results-oriented professionals who create a track record of success, dedicated achievers, effective communicators, collaborative partners, right? And what you will do, qualify on inbound leads, kind of establish rapport with new and current customers, engage, engage current customers based on direction from the business to expand awareness, educate and identify new opportunities for account managers. Okay. So this role is different instead of most times when you're in SDR, you are mainly dealing with brand new customers. I hardly ever uh, run across an SDR that has to also deal with current customers as well, but it sounds like that's what you're going to be doing because they mentioned that in here, you'll be working with current customers and helping account managers. And you'll also be working with new business, helping, uh, AEs looks like. So that's kind of interesting. Let's see here. Maintain a high degree of self-motivation, generate fresh ideas, 
proactively identify and strategize ways to accelerate new business development and process improvements. Uh, what you need, it says zero years of work experience. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. They All these roles should say this. These are entry-level roles. It kills me when they say they want someone that has two, three, four, five years of experience for what's supposed to be an entry-level role, but okay, but this is great. Uh, it says bachelor's degree in any field required, marketing or business preferred, experience in fast-paced sales development environment, excellent grammar, copywriting, proofreading, and editing skills with strong attention to detail, experience working in Salesforce, Microsoft Office, LinkedIn, ability to work collaboratively with other departments and functions, ability to present and speak comfortably in front of others. Here's the pay. Uh, this is a, this is quite a pay right here. It says fifty six to one hundred and one thousand dollars salary, plus bonus eligible plus benefits, um, and the minimum and maximum may vary based on location. It says uh, so. Even if you put in the location, that one hundred and one maybe even if that was for the West Coast, that would tell me that even for the East Coast, they're probably at least paying maybe maybe eighty OTE at the minimum, right? So that's some pretty solid pay right there. Scanning through the benefits. I'm scanning through. I just see all the basic stuff in here. Let's see here. All right, very cool. So yeah, I'm going to drop this link in the description in the comments. Uh, that So you, that way you guys can hop on that one as well. So let's go into the next job. We're on job number six. And like I said, I have 10 of these jobs. So we're over... Uh, we're halfway there. So let's see what we got here. It's a company called Chili Piper, uh, which if you have been in these tech sales streets doing your research long enough, you have heard of Chili Piper. All right. So they got a person on here. You can reach out of touch. Uh, Chili Piper is a B2B SaaS startup. Their product helps clients turn inbound leads into qualified meetings instantly, helping revenue teams connect to buyers faster. All right. So let's see. Uh, what you'll do, all the standard stuff, identify high potential business and develop and execute outbound strategies to bring to the Chili Piper, develop and lead outbound campaigns. Let's see here, work with cross-functional teams, one-on-ones with your manager, become a product expert, consistently achieve your activity goals. Here's the wish list. One year of sales experience, preferably at a technology company with a track record of top performance. Strong analytical and quantitative uh, capabilities, superior verbal and written communication skills, ability to operate in a highly and uh, ambiguous and fast-paced environment, self-starter who is used to working in a scrappy team, strong interest in technology, uh, LinkedIn profile. And then they have the additional skills right here. I see a lot of soft skill stuff in there. This role has an OTE range of 50 to 93, depending on location. All right, cool. So it looks like uh, the base pay is 50 grand and the OTE can get up to 93, depending on where you live at. Of course, uh, West Coast and New York tend to pay more. Uh, let's see what we have. Just kind of scrolling through. How we work, freedom and flexibility. We're we're a 100% distributed team working from around the world, and we've been fully remote since 2016. Our team members can work from wherever they want in the world as long as they show up on our weekly and all hands meeting on Zoom. That's what's up. A lot of times these companies like they'll be remote, but I most of them will say you have to just live in the United States and work in any of the United States, right? They don't want you out of the country. But this one says they don't give a damn where you working from. As long as you can show up on the Zoom when they have the all hands meeting, they don't care. You can work anywhere in the world. I dig that. I like that a lot. It says solve interesting problems. The software landscape has exploded. There are dozens of solutions for each problem. We want to be different. We come up with new angles on existing problems or invent better solutions to help companies with their sales and marketing. Then we turn their ideas into beautiful, smart software. Uh, the perks, they have unlimited vacation, generous health, dental and vision insurance, any equipment, software, tech that you need to do your job. Say whatever you need to do your job, we got you. But I'm, I'm really digging that you can work anywhere in the world thing. That, that really appeals to me. I'm telling you right now. 
All right, so I'll make sure I drop that link for Chili Piper and you guys go after it. Uh, let's go to the next one. Job number seven is a company called Build Trust. They're looking for an ADR account development representative, which is another way to say BDR, SDR. It's the same thing. Uh, they got a pay up here, 53K to 80K. I've actually heard of Build Trust. We actually used to use them at my current company um, as well. It's just a, uh, a, a like a payment processor, like, uh, like a Stripe or something like that. And they probably have other features that I don't know about, but that's the way we use them, uh, like a payment, um, a payment platform. All right, so let's see here. Let's see what we got. As an SDR, you will support Build Trust by engaging new mid-market and or enterprise accounts through prospecting and program strategy. So that tells me you'll be a mid-market um, and or an enterprise um, uh, ADR, as they call it, uh, as well. So that'll give you some mid-market experience, some enterprise experience possibly, which is great for an SDR. Because uh, if you can get enterprise experience on the SDR level, the next natural progression is to go into another role that's an enterprise role, whether that be an enterprise level um, account manager or enterprise level uh, account executive or even an enterprise level customer success person, depending on the uh, company. Uh, if you can do that, man, you're making great money because once you are able to get in that enterprise realm of things, I don't care what you're doing in tech sales on the enterprise side, you can make some good money. So if you are lucky enough to get an SDR role where you would be calling into enterprise accounts, that's what's up. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's see, all this uh, normal language for an SDR, just kind of skimming through it. What you'll bring to the team, bachelor's degree in business communications or another related field, at least one year of related work experience, ability to work within defined frameworks and follow up on tasks in predefined time frame, ability to work cross-functionally, learn, uh, learn new approaches to provide actionable feedback to improve results, highly motivated with a strong desire to learn, develop, and grow, internship experience with a software as a service company preferred. The base salary for, for this position is 53K. The OT is 80K. All right, so I will drop this in there for you guys. Okay, they got a little bit of perk um, information on here. Uh, what you'll get, work anywhere, your home, a coffee shop, or a company pay, we work. It says flexible working hours. We support your lifestyle. The results are what counts, right? Let's see here. Open PTO, work-life balance is important. We believe in giving our employees time to truly relax and recharge, they said. They have some sabbatical perk in here. A paid leave to reward longevity and commitment to build trust. Uh, paid par parental leave. Uh, it's kind of scrolling through here. And they said they have minimal bureaucracy. An entrepreneurial environment of ownership and accountability allows you to get work done. All right, then a little bit of information in there about who they are. But they got good OTE. 80K is, is is great money for basically a BDR SDR role. So I will drop that link for you guys. Let's keep it moving to the next one. Job number eight. Job number eight is a company called Abnormal Security. It's pretty obvious. This is a, a cybersecurity company by the name. They're looking for an SDR. Uh, let's scroll down here. It says they're hiring best of the best sales professionals who are passionate about their craft and want to continue to excel within our elite sales organization, they said. Let's see what you will do. Contact potential clients through outbound calls and emails. Identify client needs and suggest appropriate products and services. This is all running the mill stuff for an SDR role here. Here's the must-haves. They said they want you to have six months to a year of proven work experience as a BDR, sales account executive, or similar role. They said less experience is okay for the right candidate. Demonstrated ability to collaborate with a distributed sales team. Capability of understanding customer pain points, requirements, and correlated potential business to value. Uh, drive grit, team-oriented, strong desire to compete and win bachelor's degree or relevant experience, hands-on experience with multiple sales techniques, including cold calls, 
nice to have. This is nice to have if you know Outreach, Salesforce, Nooks, Zoom Info, Seamless AI, and Reggie AI. Um, and I've mentioned this before. You can get free access to Salesforce. They have a free version you can play around with. They also have a free version of Seamless AI that you can play around with. Um, Nooks, uh, just read up on the company, understand what they do. Zoom Info, same thing. Read up on the company, understand what they do. Zoom, Zoom Info is very similar to Seamless AI. It's just scraping data, contact information, and stuff like that for you. And Outreach is a dialer. So just uh, read up on those companies and understand what they do if there are no free play around versions available. Okay. So let's see here. And let's see, the base salary is 51K here. So I have to assume that OTE is maybe $75,000, $80,000 a year, which is pretty good for an SDR role. So I'll make sure you guys have that link as well. Let's keep it moving to the next job. This is a company called the Pipeline Group. They're looking for an SDR. Uh, let's see here. Says meet the hiring team. Somebody you can reach out and touch right there. It says the pipeline group is a technology enabled services company that combines data process content and technology coupled with expertly trained and battle tested SDRs to deliver explosive business results for companies looking to build predictable and profitable pipeline. They specialize in taking new company products to market and quickly advancing growth stage companies to the next level. More and more companies are looking to outsource their SDR BDR team or operate a hybrid model to expand into new markets in uh, internationally. They look for companies that want to outsource their SDR BDRs. That's what it sounds like to me, what Pipeline does. They're trying to find companies that want to outsource their SDR BDR teams. All right, so let's see here. All right, so I'm just kind of reading through, looking at a little bit of their culture stuff. Uh, it says they're uh, at TPG, excellence and high performance are ingrained in our culture. We cultivate success for our clients and our team members. Let's see here. It says become a pivotal SDR. Stepping into the role of a trusted go-to-market advisor for our client sales teams. Your mission should uh, secure new logos and customers through strategic, cold calling, relationship building, and uh, crafting effective sales campaigns. Melding your sales prowess with our proven methods, you'll complete our intensive two-week certification program upon hire, swiftly transitioning to being on the phones, building pipelines, improving your readiness to fully service our clients within your first 30 days. Proficiency in omnichannel outreach is paramount, enabling you to cater to a diverse clientele by mastering various communication channels for comprehensive service delivery across all demographics. All the normal stuff on the responsibilities there. Achieve monthly quotas of meetings and qualify opportunities on a consistent basis. Minimum four hours per day of outbound prospecting, leveraging our automated dialing technology. This is what you need to succeed. Two, three years of sales experience required with preferences to candidates who are experienced with prospecting and securing qualified leads for a sales team. Let's see here. Please note experience is required as this position is not considered entry level, they said. They use Salesforce as a CRM. All right, let's see the starting pay is 50K. Unlimited PTO after 90 days. Company provided home office equipment. Opportunities for development and advancement. Our SDR role serves as a pivotal stepping stone into our organization. We value individuals who are eager to learn our processes and stay engaged with on ongoing information that changes, ensuring they are well prepared, prepared for continuous growth and success with our dynamic environment. This position is currently open to candidates in the U.S. only. All right, cool. So I'll drop that link for you guys. Let's head over to the very last job.
All right, so job number 10 is a company called Fan Connect. They're looking for a customer success manager. Uh, it says the pay is 65 to 75K plus a bonus in here. And let's see here. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I've kind of talked about all the different tech sales roles that are available. Customer success is uh, one of those tech sales roles. You're As a customer success person, you are dealing with current customers. Now, depending on what company you're at, sometimes customer success looks like onboarding customers. Sometimes it looks like just um, taking care of the customers, uh, staying on top of renewals and things that, like that, right? So it just depends on your company. Let's see what their customer success person um, is expected to do. Let's see here. So Fan Connect is looking for a customer success manager to join our growing company. We make technology that powers the TVs, tablets, and digital signage screens in large sports stadiums and arenas. If you have been to a top 25 college football game, you've probably seen our technology in action. If you've been to a home game for the San Diego Padres, Pittsburgh Steelers, Dallas Mavericks, Chicago Bears, and many other teams, you have likely interacted with our products. Fan Connect has been working with sports venues for over 10 years and is headquartered in Charlotte. All right, so let's see here. Typical activities will include work with Fan Connect sales to ensure a smooth handoff for new customers, specifically understanding the reasons the customer signed up with Fan Connect and the outcomes they need to see to ensure ongoing renewal. Onboard new customers onto our web based content management system and conduct training on usage of the platform and best practices for success. Work with Fan Connect support and implementation to make sure that hardware delivery and any software customizations are being clearly communicated to customers. Work directly with college corporate partnership sponsorship teams to help them maximize the revenue they achieve through our platforms. Create and update customer health scorecards to help us understand how each account is doing, determine which accounts we need to prioritize for attention, and build action plans for those accounts. Become an expert in how our platform works and in how our customers use it to manage thousands of screens in a stadium or arena on game day. Coordinate with our product and engineering team to incorporate customer feedback into our product roadmap. It says the position is fully remote, but some minimal travel, which is two to three short trips per year to key customers may be needed. And it says the about you, you have a bachelor's degree, you're very organized and prefer to manage your own work rather than being told each task to do. Have at least one to two years working within a customer success or equivalent role at a SaaS company, are an excellent written and verbal communicator and are very comfortable running remote meetings. Enjoy working for a smaller company with less bureaucracy and focus on delivering great customer experiences and treating our customers and employees ethically and fairly. Getting into the benefits, Fan Connect provides a highly competitive benefits package, including medical, dental, life insurance, 401k with matching life and long-term disability, and a generous PTO policy, work for home position with work schedule flexibility. All right, so that's a solid position. For you fans out there that love your sports, this would be right up your alley. I think you would really enjoy working at this company um, after hearing what they do. I mean, I'm not a really super big sports fan, but even I think this is a pretty cool company to work for. So I'll make sure I drop the link for you guys. Like I said, it said the pay was ranged with 65 to 70K plus a bonus. Uh, let me scroll back down again. I don't think they mentioned any type of breakdown on that pay other than what they said at the beginning of the job description. It's got a little bit of travel in there. It says two to three short trips a year, uh, you know that you might have to do, but that's about it. So I'll make sure I drop that link for you guys. So those are the 10 jobs I have for you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna stop this video right here. And like I said, if you have any comments, you have any questions, post them in the comment section. I will shout you out and answer your question on next Sunday's Who's Hiring. If you wanna see the one I did last Sunday, I will drop a link to that video as well in the comments and description. I will also drop a link to the Earn Better video that I that I did if you need, uh, if you need to remix your resume. I will drop a video uh, that I did on Apollo IO. If you're looking for help finding email addresses and phone numbers for like tech recruiters at companies and things like that. And as far as everything else, man, just hey, just take a look at my channel. I got a lot of videos on there to help you guys out. So I'm going to end the video right here and I'll see you guys on the next one.
Tech Job Tina out. Peace and blessings. Bye.